there was actually a secret mob that was added to Minecraft that many people don't know about. Now you can actually spawn this creature in by using a secret command. If you type in slash summon Minecraft Illusioner, you actually get spawned in with one of these crazy creatures. Now what's crazy about these creatures is that like I said before, you can't actually have these in the real game because for some reason they weren't actually added in Minecraft. Now make sure you're careful while spawning these because these are no friendly mobs. These are actually quite hostile mobs and trust me when I say these guys will chase you around the map trying to kill you. You probably already know that pumpkins are in Minecraft, but you probably didn't know they have a really cool easter egg. You see pumpkins don't just have features such as seeds. As you know, you can actually put a pumpkin on your face and although you do look quite silly, that's not actually the easter egg. You see around Halloween, if you open your Minecraft world and if you manage to find some scary mobs, these mobs actually have a chance of spawning with a pumpkin on their head. But this is super duper duper rare. So if you ever see this, you gotta make sure that you actually do pay attention because you're likely never to see it again. But a sneaky little tip, if you don't want to wait for Halloween, then you can always change the date in your computer and you're gonna be able to find these mobs as well. Now as we spoke about in the beginning, name tags honestly have a lot of power. If you place down an anvil, then if you spawn a vindicator in, and if you decide to name that vindicator Johnny, this vindicator is absolutely gonna go insane and try to kill everyone in his nearby range. Now you can see right here, this vindicator is playing no games and literally manages to one hit every single pick. So you do want to be careful with this because honestly, it can get really, really dangerous. Now if you're wondering why this is even in the game, it's actually a reference to the movie The Shining where the guy says, here's Johnny. And yes, that guy has an axe. Now this is another weird interaction and this one involves Minecraft's lovely sheep. If you decide for any reason that you want your sheep blue, but for some reason you have an evoker near you, it's going to wave its hands in the air and apparently that sheep is then going to turn red. This is one of the strangest Easter eggs I've ever seen, but as you can see, it actually does work. Now apparently this is because of a reference to Age of Empire. Now this is an Easter egg that you probably didn't know. You see these Minecraft banners that we know and love? There's actually a secret in the creative menu. We've got many different banner pattern designs, but this one right here is actually quite confusing. You see, if you grab a loom and then some white dye, you actually get this red banner here. Now for those of you who don't know what this is, this is actually Minecraft's official logo. Well, it's actually Mojang's logo, the company that created Minecraft. Now the reason this is called The Thing is because the name Mojang is actually a Swedish name for the word The Thing. So it's a really small Easter egg that I guarantee you didn't know. Now for this Minecraft secret, we take a trip down to the caves. You see, this Easter egg involves Minecraft's most annoying creature. Though a strange fact about bats is that they actually only spawn on light level 3 or less, which essentially means they only spawn in the deep depths of Minecraft. But one Easter egg that you didn't know is that these pesky bats actually start to spawn a lot more when Halloween comes around. So from the 20th of October to the 3rd of November, you can actually see all of these bats start to spawn on light level 6 or less, which essentially means that you start to see a lot more bats in your world. Now this Minecraft Easter egg is honestly one of the more interesting ones. You see, this Easter egg you're likely never going to find. So if you're playing Minecraft Java Edition and then you decide to open up a crafting table, if you type in the search bar Excited ZE, the game will actually change into a completely different version. You can see right now we're loading into a secret version of Minecraft and you can see that every single word is actually pirate speed. So you can see right here it says loot bag, it also says crafting, it says chest plate o steel and every single word is now in pirate speed. Even if you go into the main menu, it says search loot, it says chunk of grass, it says devil's buried treasure. Funnily enough, what's also crazy about this is that even if you go into the pause menu, you can see that it says return to the fight, ships manifest and many different references to pirates. It's honestly quite interesting. Now this Minecraft easter egg was added recently and the reason you don't know it exists is because it was actually added by a former Mojang employee. This former employee is called Maria Lemon and she was actually a huge fan of pirates. She added this sneaky little easter egg in there and I'm pretty sure you never knew it existed. Now this one is truly an easter egg. You see in 1.20 Minecraft added the new cherry grove biome and this biome is honestly home to one particular secret and potentially a new secret mob. You see I'm pretty sure that everybody knows what a mushroom is. It's a strange variant of cow found only on mushroom islands but when we take a look at Minecraft's other mob the one called the Moolip, you can see that this creature is actually quite pink, which is why many are saying that this creature looks like it's going to fit into the Cherry Grove biome. So now if you're wondering where the Moolip even came from, you gotta understand that this creature is from Minecraft Earth, an exclusive version of Minecraft that many people don't even know about. Now I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I saw this creature in the Cherry Grove biome, it honestly would be a nice addition to the game. The creature's bright, it looks cool, and we rarely do get new Minecraft mobs. The only easter egg question that we do have for the Moolip is what is this creature actually going to drop? You see, that's a question that we can't answer. Now, most of you know that mushrooms are essentially some of the rarest creatures in Minecraft. But what you didn't know is that there is an even rarer version of this. If somehow you manage to get extremely lucky, you can actually manage to find the extremely rare brown mushroom. Now this type of mushroom only spawns in when lightning hits a mushroom. But what's really crazy about this easter egg is that this mushroom has some unique features. These brown mushrooms are incredibly rare. They have a 0.09% chance of spawning. Or as some other would put it, 1 in 1024 chance in spawning. And if you decide to milk them using a bowl, you get this weird thing called suspicious stew, which has a range of really strange effects. Now deep down in Minecraft Underworlds, there's actually a strange secret. You see, Minecraft has a very certain ambiance, which essentially just means the kind of music that you're playing. You know how sometimes you'll hear things that sound nice and sunny, but when you're in the dark caves, 
things sound a little bit spooky. There are specific Easter eggs that are related to these sounds. When you're in the caves, you hear a particularly creepy sound, and that sound is referred to as Cave 14. But what's crazy about the secret easter egg is that if you put this audio file in a specific program, the one that you can see images from audio files, you actually get to see the face of a secret creeper. And this one is a really niche easter egg because there's no way you could ever find it in the traditional version of Minecraft. Now did you know that Minecraft's cuddly friends the rabbits actually are hiding a dark dark easter egg? You see these friendly things that we like to call rabbits actually are truly truly dangerous. You see there's a specific type of rabbit that you can get that was actually removed from Minecraft and now can only be summoned via a secret command. So if you type in slash summon minecraft rabbit type 99, you'll get this secret minecraft rabbit called the killer rabbit. Now the reason this rabbit is so dangerous is because it has red eyes. This is referred to as the killer bunny. Now this is a reference to the Monty Python, but Mojang actually removed this dangerous rabbit because this rabbit is even rarer than you thought. This thing has a 1 in 10,000 chance in spawning. But the problem is, is that it's really, really dangerous. I mean, the rabbit can kill you. That's why Minecraft decided to remove this Easter egg from the game and make it so that you can only have it as a spawn. The reason they did this was because of course, they didn't want new players dying constantly, and if new players died constantly, then of course they wouldn't be playing the game anymore. So you can actually try this out for yourself in any version of Minecraft, and you can actually ruin friendships. Did you know also that jukeboxes have a really cool easter egg inside of them? Now of course for some of you new Minecraft players, you might not know that parrots are Minecraft's greatest hidden secret. You see, as long as you put a music disc inside the jukebox, and you decide to spawn parrots nearby, you're gonna have yourself a very crazy little disco where these parrots do this really cool dance. I'm not sure as to why this easter egg exists in Minecraft, but it does work on every single parrot that's nearby. Now did you know there's also a secret easter egg that only exists on the java edition of Minecraft? This secret easter egg involves the title screen. So as you know the java edition title screen says Minecraft. But this title screen right here actually has a 0.01% chance of saying Mincecraft. And this is one of Minecraft's rarest easter eggs because you may have even seen this easter egg and you might not have even known it. And even if you played Minecraft every day for the last 10 years you only had a 1 in 3 chance of ever seeing this screen. So next time you load up Minecraft, pay attention to the title screen. There was also a secret easter egg that relates to Notch. This easter egg actually says happy birthday Notch on Minecraft's actual official home screen. But this was actually removed in Java edition 1.8.5 This Notch no longer works for Mojang. There was actually a secret coronavirus update in which the Minecraft title screen actually had an easter egg that said wash your hands. Although this has recently been removed as COVID is no longer a thing. Now there was actually a really cool easter egg which is in relation to Technoblade. Unfortunately Technoblade passed away so in 1.19.1 the launcher art was actually changed to add a pig with a crown on it, which is of course a reference to Technoblade's pig crown skin. Now everybody knows what Minecraft Alex looks like, but did you know there's actually a secret version of Alex that exists within Minecraft? Now this version of Alex actually relates to one of the lead developers at Minecraft. The skin actually contains glasses on the face, which actually looks pretty similar to Jeb, who's a senior Mojang developer. Another crazy secret is that on the Bedrock Editions, there's actually two random skins. Now these skins are Scottish Steve and Swedish Alex. Now most people would think that these skins are just random and not easter eggs, but they're actually related to where the game developer studios are. You see 4J Studios makes the console version and their headquarters is in Scotland and then of course Mojang's headquarters is in Sweden. That's why we call it Scottish Steve and Swedish Alex. Two very subtle easter eggs. Did you also know that the creepy disc 11 holds a really secret easter egg inside of it? If you put disc 11 inside of a spectrogram it actually shows the signature of the disc creator which is C418 which is another secret easter egg that you probably will never find. Now of course you will probably already know this one but just in case there's some new of yours watching I thought I might as well just add this one in there. Minecraft has a name tag that when you name it dinner bone, you essentially turn any mob upside down. And this works on pretty much every single mob. And it does look really weird to see every single mob upside down. So try this one out to prank your friends. Now when it comes to bunnies, there's so much to talk about. Because did you know that bunnies have another secret easter egg? This involves their texture. We know that bunnies mostly look brown, but if you put down an anvil and you name the anvil toast, and then you decide to put this on a bunny, it changes the texture to a black and white rabbit. And this was because one of the developers decided that he wanted to create a rabbit that looked like his lost girlfriend's one. So something definitely interesting.